come out today to speak and to be heard on behalf of a young man who for us is an example of what we want to see young men in this community doing. Uh, my name is DeBray Fly Benzo Carpenter. He has roots in this community. Generations of his family has helped to establish this community to be the beautiful baby that we know it to be. I had just gotten to the area from school. Some police were riding off. When they saw me approach, they uh, doubled back. Officer uh, Fry came and just unplugged this boom box without asking anybody. People just started saying, hey man, why'd you do that? We're just, we're just, there's nothing, we're just listening to music, we're talking, nothing illegal is going on. Why are you disrespecting us like that? After that, people got angered and a lot of people took out their cameras and started to record the cops. And the cop took out his cell phone and started to record me. Cops wouldn't do that in Dolores Park to people, you know, with their, you know, sound systems out there, but out here they do. And so people were understandably protesting. And when I took out my cell phone to record him back, he put his cell phone away and assaulted me. At the preliminary hearing, Officer Norman testified that they started filming DeBray Carpenter um, because uh, police inspectors and district attorneys had told them to start video recording him. First he slapped my arm. He slapped my arm at least three times. I didn't touch him not one time, but I'm the one being charged with assault and uh, resisting arrest and obstructing a police officer. And I don't understand how we can find an innocent young black man who's got a 4.0 average at City College and has been a spokesman and an example for other young folks in this community. And we can find him guilty, but we can't find any justice for a murder that was committed here. I'm sure if you went to the right planning meetings or went to the right people, I'm sure developers have their eyes all over this place and if they haven't already started buying up property. Um, but there's obviously a big gentrification push here and there has been a long time. This is all a part of our dang injunctions, illegal for, uh, foreclosures. It's also got to do with the out-migration of African Americans from this community. And we as a community are standing to say that we are not going to accept this. We say to the jury and the judges and those in that kangaroo court that found this man guilty of a crime that was never committed, that they need to turn him loose and give him real justice so that this community can know for a fact that people coming together and standing up for truth, that we can claim our victories in the final analysis. So I, I think this, I think the city is, does want to gentrify this area. Um, you know, it, it's a beautiful sunny part of the city, it's by the water. Look at what they're doing all along the bay. Come out to my court date on Friday, April 20th at 850 Bryant, Department 27, uh, 9 o'clock. But Benzo Carpenter is a part of the fiber of this community for generations. He didn't just come up out the dirt. His family helped make this community. And he's been targeted for a reason. And that reason is to tear down the best of what we are in this community. So I say God bless you. All power to the people with love to all.